Hey guys, what's happening? Welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. It's been a while. Genesis is out and it's... Um, I don't know how I feel about it at the moment. I am in two camps. It's, it's interesting and it's different, but I don't really think it's going to suit PvP. Uh, if you've not already uh, seen, it turns out that it's kind of like several maps in one, but each map is in its own little zone, which you teleport to with the help of this little guy. So you would teleport to uh, the volcano area, the bog area, the Arctic area, Luna, or the ocean. So it's kind of like one, two, three, four, five maps in one. Uh, bog is supposed to be easy, but this is definitely the hardest arc ever to start out on, for, for new people at least. So it's literally a square, the zone you get to play in. But if we do a little fly around, you can see like some of the new dinos and such. This is a glitch. You get rewards for sorting those out with the help of your little robot friend. So in terms of design, it's interesting what they've done. It's quite cool. It looks good. Play style, I don't really think this is going to work for PvP, especially with this whole teleporting business. But I'm digging the sort of lava dinos, the magma dinos. Hey, the volcano area just looks cool. It might be a little bit dark on YouTube, but it is nice. The Having this edge world, uh, I really kind of hate. Um, you can't build right up to the edge. One place you can't build, though, which I will show you guys in a second after we have a little further fly around, see, see what's what. You know, the lava looks cool. Looks like there's plenty of base, uh, base places you could uh, squeeze into. Hey, look, there's actually some trees up here. Uh, anything interesting? Let's have like a, a fly around. So there is a cave. Lava cave. That's pretty cool. So there's another glitch there. So let's go back out here. Alright, what else we got? Kind of wanted to show you some of the new dinos and such. Can you actually get over to this platform? So you can. I wonder if you can build there. Um, let me turn the UI back on. It doesn't actually seem to show the non-building areas when you're in uh, the flight mode, which is interesting. Let me try just landing on top of whatever this is. So can we build up here? Right, so that, that there, that shows you where you can't build. I think actually, if I recall correctly, we can come back here. Where have you gone now? We can get this guy to actually show mission area boundaries. So you can't build in any of these areas. And as you can see, that's, that's a fairly significant area that you're not allowed to build in. Which is odd, because... If you're going to be trying to run a PvP server, which is what this is, there's so many areas where you literally aren't allowed to build, which could be interesting. I don't know if these are spawn points. If they are, then blocking them off from building altogether might not be a bad idea. Stop a little bit of trolling, but I mean, you can see where the edge is, so super tribes could just, you know, build a wall all the way around it, I guess. But that seems a little bit more unlikely. Anyway, let's just cheat fly. Uh, this is my legit character, by the way, on the server. I'm just, you know, doing YouTube stuff. So presumably we can get all the way to the... Nope, you can't go all the way up to the uh, top of the volcano. Yeah, it looks like there's a bit of a shield all the way around the top. So you can go quite high, but not all the way to the top. And again, yeah, specific areas where you can't build because there's missions. Missions to do. Ah, oh, look, here we go. Check out this guy. Yeah, you don't want to get too close to that because it's it's nasty. Very, very nasty. So that's a Magmasaur, level 240. Apparently you can't tame them. Woof! I've not tried taming them either, though. But apparently you cannot. So, yeah. So you do get, you do get a big area to play with, I guess. But, but again, with the teleportation thing, I, I don't really think it's going to suit PvP teleporting from area to area, but... Yeah, I could be proven wrong. Um, 
Where's my little robot friend? Oh, here he is. So let us try going to the bog. <laughs> oh. And I guess we'll choose west. Teleporting takes a while, by the way. Just as well for PvP, I guess. You can't just click teleport and then get away. I will let it play out the full thing. Just so you can see how long it'll take. As you can tell, quite a while. Quite a while it takes. Now let's wait for everything to load in. Ooh, the bog is very mysterious. Uh, we will have to cheat fly again if you want to have a little scout around the map. So I'm going to guess that's a world edge. Yep. So. This looks very dark and spooky. As for dinos, I, c I can't really see any. What's in the bog? Nice art style and stuff. It's just... Just looks a little bit bleak. <laughs> Very bleak. You know, we've got crystals up there. Uh, what's this? That's interesting. Is that a uh, obelisk? Oh, wow. Okay. That is cool. I like that. So it's like a, a drainage pool type of thing here. Is that a cave? Yes. Can we Gamma 3? Okay, it'll be a bit grey, but we'll get to see some stuff. Can we... Uh... Oh, so you can get above the clouds. Alright, well that's kind of interesting, I guess. Glowing rock. How, how did these guys get up here? <laughs> More glowing rocks and mushrooms. Not seeing any new dinos. Oh, that's the edge of the world. So yeah, if this is what the bog looks like all the time, I will not want to be here, because I, I don't like not being able to see much. This bit in the center looks cool. I like that. It's like a tree of life or something. There's a, a glitch over there to deal with. Tapajaras. I kind of like these natural street lights. Presumably, you can build up here as well. Uh, again, when it comes to mission zones, I'm not going to pull that up. But just rest assured that they're here and I don't like them. Yeah, there's nothing interesting here, I don't think, other than the bits we looked at. This is just a very quick overview, guys. I don't want to spend too long showing you, like, what the maps look like. I'm glad the fly mode seems to be really fast on this iteration of the game, though. I have no idea what happens when you complete all the glitches. I have no idea what happens when you complete all the missions. Nice. Nah, see, this area looks a little bit nicer. Because it's kind of lit. And plenty of water. <laughs> the turtles get up here. Uh, arc, arc never changes. Well, there's loads of glitches up here. I could probably unlock all of them really quickly by doing this, but that would be cheating. Hey. That's pretty nice. I presume we could build up in these trees because there's like whole areas up here. It's like a small landmass. Uh, apparently flyers are bugged at the moment though. Oh, that's the very, very top. So yeah, I'm a, a couple of interesting areas and stuff. But that's that, that's that zone. Let's wait for... Uh... Hey, Eddie, come here. Hello? So, let's go to the ocean next, which I think is going to be pretty self-explanatory. So, yeah, the final test, gamma, beta, and alpha. Exchange hexagons. Hello, Here's what I've got. Oh, this... 
This is interesting. So, drops a random assortment of gear, tier one loot crate. This worries me because this looks very, very much like the mobile game. So you can save up your hexagons from doing those missions, I presume, or from doing the glitches. But yeah, that worries me that something else might come. I don't think we should panic just yet. But yeah, that, um... Nothing looks good. No, it concerns me. This is the most awkward character to interact with. Right, let's go to the ocean and we'll go north. We'll skip this. Alrighty, guys. So this is the ocean. The ocean area. Uh, as you can tell, <laughs> it's going to be a lot of ocean. And some little islands. I think this might be the best area. Let's have a fly around though. Oh, can't go very far there. Could be some interesting base builds on some of these areas. You're definitely going to need a flyer to get around. Ooh, there's like something under the water here. Unfortunately, I can't fly quickly underwater. Looks like it's got a shield around the top. Oh, that's out of the zone. So yeah, not not overly keen actually. The more the more I look around, what's this? Oh, and there's a PVE racing mission or something. You see, this is I'm not really overly keen on the direction Axe taking with this DLC, not at all. And this looks like one of the the bigger land masses to to build on. Has it got like a little cave on the inside? No, just like a. A little area. Oh, so here's the new uh, turtle. It's not half as big as what I expected. The Mac... Mac... M hang on. M Me Mega Chelon? <laughs> Mega... Mega Shleon? However you pronounce that. So that's... That's not what I expected. It's pretty big, but... Um, that's what she said. <laughs> it's not quite what I expected. Oh, dear. Yeah, it's just like a bunch of little land masses. I think this might be the the biggest, most interesting piece. And that's the end of the world again. So yeah, I think most of the interesting stuff's going to be below the waves. And we can't really fly quickly through that. So yeah, there might be some interesting things under the water, but... Um, is that like a... Ooh. Am I in a booble? I'm in a booble! That's cool. I don't know if that gives me oxygen or anything, because obviously I've got um, cheats on for flying and stuff. Ooh, we're going up. Uh, is my bubble going to pop? <laughs> Whoop. Very good. Right, well, unfortunately, guys, right now I can't really show you anything that's under the sea. Um, unless we force tame something. Well... That'll work. And it's stuck. Is it stuck? Oh, it might be over encumbered. Let's just uh, cheat at experience. One million trillion billion. Whoops. Oh. I'm carrying all my stuff for the uh, base move. That'll do. And then we'll just pile everything else into movement speed. <laughs> okay, that looks ridiculous. Uh, but let's give him uh, god mode and infinite there we go. So we can get around and have a little look. I don't think it's going to be too exciting in the ocean. I don't think really the oceans have ever been Axe's strong point. I feel like they're trying to do something different with this. Lots of nooks and crannies. Ooh, this seems to go down quite far. But again, 
I've never really been a water person on Ark. I don't think there would be anything of interest on this area for me. I do like the big old land masses and stuff. That's pretty cool. But I, I don't really see me wanting to build an underwater base or anything once you get the tech level and what have you. Um, ooh, something interesting coming up. See, that's the only reason I would come here is literally to explore and be like, oh, that's interesting. That's pretty cool. And then never come back ever again. <laughs> uh, it's pretty and all, but again, not not really my scene. So I think I think we can safely skip this bit, to be honest. Oh, hello. What's this? Oh. Ah, yes, we saw this in the trailer. That's pretty neat. Uh, so let me turn the gamma down, because that seems overly bright. Gamma 2. Okay, we'll put it on Gamma 2 because it's overly bright down here. That's that's cool. I like that. Um, presumably, um, all players can do that even if you build down here. It is really obnoxiously bright in here. <laughs> Fishes. So yeah, this is cool. I could get behind this. But again... When it comes to making bases and base raids, I don't think PvP is really going to work on this kind of server where the maps are all different points of interest that you have to kind of teleport to. Now let's just fly back up. But it's cool. I like caves. Good God, that's bright. But yeah, for me, nah. Not really interesting. Oh, could dinos get stuck in bubbles? Dinos could apparently get stuck in bubbles. Hello. <laughs> Going up now. So guys, this is the lunar zone. There's like low gravity here. I'm not in fly mode. You can just genuinely jump this high. Looks like there's other axe floating in the background there. Ooh, spiky bushies. Well, that guy followed me pretty well. Should probably uh, lose him. So it looks like there's tech dinos up here that I don't think the awesome spyglass mod actually pick up. Can you stop shooting me, please? Uh, like a tech trike? Yeah, it is. That's pretty cool. So it looks like this is where you go to get the tech creatures. Anyway, let's just fly. Presumably we can fly just fine here. Yep. Oh. Should have thought we won't be able to go up there. But there's specific areas. Oh, the drones are on here. Interesting. Yeah, looks like the mod is broken on this section. Strange though, because like tech stegos and stuff normally would show up. Quite weird. So yeah, looks like there's quite a large-ish area of very floatiness. Technical term. The radiation get in the shadow. So you have to stay in the shadows or get singed, I guess. Another glitch. Radiation or maybe something. So again, this area is quite cool and all, but not really digging it. Oh god, what happened? Teleported. Oh, so you can't even fall off the map completely. You just get magically teleported. Even the dinos do. <laughs> okay, that's kind of kind of cool. Again, though, that's very much the feel of this map. It's kind of cool. But... <laughs> 
again for PvP and stuff, not really digging it. Oh, here's the uh, weird flying creatures we've been seeing. What's it called? Apparently nothing's working quite right. Space whale, did that say? Female space whale. They're there, pretty neat. Not, not gonna lie. Very pretty. <laughs> cool effects. Oh, it's one poor lone Rex just up on this cliff thing. Uh. Uh, anything else interesting in the area? Space whales? It's quite a large area. Cat, cat knocking for that. Quite a large area. Oh, cave, cave. Almost like mini, mini dragons. Oh, seekers. I thought it was something else. This looks to be this sort of aberration area. Yeah, we got crabs. And back outside. Yeah, it's quite cool and all, guys, but... I'm just repeating myself at this point. But genuinely, I don't... Um, I, I don't really think I like it. It just looks nice. I, um, I can admire the ambition of trying to do what is essentially, like... You know, four or five maps in one. But... I don't really think it'll work for anything other than PvE. But you're more than welcome to join the server that we're running. I'll have the links down in the description. Which reminds me, I need to go back and delete the shark. Again, it's all pretty neat, but I don't know. I'm just not feeling it, I guess. I think it's kind of style over substance. Oh. But we've still got one more place we can go. One more place we can go, I think. What we got left? So we've got the Arctic. The Arctic is the last place left. Let's go see what all that's about. And let's spawn in the east. Okay, we've just teleported in. So as you can see... We weren't quite close enough to get attacked by that, but we do indeed spawn right next to dangerous dinos. Is that an avalanche? Move out of the way of that. That poor dinosaur. <laughs> Is it safe to go this way now? All right, well, anyway. It's quite loud, I must say. Let's just go straight up. Ooh, I wonder how high we can go. Not all the way to the top. Makes sense. So, this just looks like, uh... Gamma 2. Everything's really bright on this uh, Genesis map. That's one thing I can tell you. Like, it hurts my eyes it's that bright. So let's have a look around. We've got glitches. So this is the snow biome, of course. Looks like I've got some kind of blizzard icon in the bottom right-hand corner. Not seen that before. That must be a new feature. And what was that sound? Was that a new dino? That was a funny sound. I like the new music as well that the game has got for this. Oh, I think it's just a background screechy sound. Technical term. Background screechy sound. So yeah, everything over here has got a... A lick of frozen. The random avalanches seem cool. Probably not cool if you get involved in it though. That's the edge. So, looking around, 
not see any caves just yet, but I'm just, just flying around, having a having a nosy, seeing what there is. Is that water in the middle? No, ice. Looks like there is places you can go down, though. Again, another fishing PvE event. That's a gorgeous colour on that. <laughs> Imagine say this. So can we actually go into the water here? Yes, we can. Anything interesting in here, though? Not particularly. Sounds cool, though. We've got good sound effects going. So I'm going to have to fly again. Let's have a look down here. So we've got more glitches. Dodicarus. I don't know if there's a new dino in this area or not. I should probably have googled it. Yeah, having a look around, it's just uh, just another biome. Um, there's not really any places that scream out to me as awesome base positions. It doesn't mean there aren't any, it's just... It feels quite minor. It's a race event. Okay, we haven't been over here yet. Oh wow, this is like the very snowy area. Full on blizzard time. I can't see a thing. That's the end. That's still the end. I can't, I can't, like, I want to show things and I can't see now. So thanks for that game. <laughs> I don't know what the new items are, if there's something for being out in the snowstorm or, or what. I can't say. I'll tell you what, if you want to find out if there's any good caves, we'll just ghost our way down. Doesn't appear so. Oh, I can't see. Do we die? We died. <laughs> and I had all my legit stuff on me as well for base moving. Well, guys, that is the new, uh, the new five locations on the new map. I don't think it's particularly great. I don't really know if I want to carry on running the server like this, but if people want to join and try it out, by all means, please do. Links in the description down below. But yeah, before I repeat myself too much, not not overly keen. Uh, so far, my favourite area has been the uh, volcano, specifically just for aesthetics. The other ones I could definitely uh, leave them. Not overly keen. I think I'd spend most of my time here. So yeah, guys, that that was the uh, the long and short of it. Thank you very much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Quiet at the back. Quiet down. Again, guys, these are all areas you are not allowed to build in. That is pretty significant, that section. And then looks like a lot around the uh, volcano as well. Of course, still plenty of other places, but... That's a fair chunk of the map that's just totally out of bounds. I found a really nice cave down there and I was considering building in it because it looks nice. It was like surrounded with amethyst and stuff looked looked pretty cool. And because of course it looks cool, it means you can't use it. Yeah. That was going to end on a positive note, but there you go. This sucks. <laughs>